welcome to another vlog and today we're going to Italy to outlet shopping and I'm so so excited I'm gonna tell you more what I want to buy today if I can find it obviously but first there is an outfit of the day that I want to share with you it's very very simple because when I'm going shopping I always make sure that I wear something that's gonna look great with items that I'm trying on and also that are easy to take on and off so I have my black skinny jeans without any belt I have my black Ugg boots and then just a pink wool jumper that it's super cozy super warm I have my silver and gold watch and some dainty gold earrings but now I also want to show you another outfit come on mom <laughs> because she's going with us so this is the outfit of her day as you can see she's wearing this scarf which she absolutely loves and then she has the monochrome vibe which it looks absolutely gorgeous she also has some pearl earrings and she looks very very stylish but now we're also gonna show you the outer layer and now here we are I'm wearing a black wool coat and just a nice Burberry scarf I also have a backpack because I need more stuff with me today and then my mom she has the stunning red bag maybe you remember it and she loves it very much she loves the scarf and the bag and then she has the black Leo coat and also she's wearing Ugg boots because we want to be very comfy today we're gonna be walking for a while we are on our way to Italy we have a two hour drive and I want to share what is on my wish list for today what I want to find hopefully because when we go to Italy I usually just focus on accessories like shoes and bags and uh, maybe scarves things like that so today what I'm gonna be looking for is a coral check scarf I also want to look for a black tote bag if I can find one and we have the Sun <laughs> then I'm gonna also search for gold earrings in a medium size I will look for some black pumps or sling bags if they have anything then I just recently added white high socks to my wishes as well for the winter months so I can wear my white sneakers with them then I will also look for the beach bag but I doubt whoa, vlogging in the car is so fun <laughs> so where was I I also want to look for a beach bag which I'm not sure if they're gonna have anything because of January uh, but then I also want to see if they have some new sling bags I will see if they have a white belt with a gold buckle and I will also look for off-white waterproof coats if they have anything and then lastly on my low priority are the white winter buffer coat colorful bag with silver hardware and light neutral flat over the nibble so this is what I'm looking for today if they find anything and yeah I think I'm gonna get the socks but for everything else I'm just not sure <laughs> and now it's two days later and I wanted to update you what happened in the shopping center while I straighten my hair because I washed it yesterday and this is just how it air dried so today I want to give it some shape I'm gonna use my Dyson on the lowest heat to protect my hair and while it's preparing I can section my hair just a little bit I already done my makeup but pretty much when it comes to shopping in Italy I didn't buy anything again and this is I think the third time that I didn't get anything from the shopping center which it's a little bit disappointing my mom got a little dress but then my husband also didn't get anything which is the first time for him I couldn't even find the white socks that I was looking for that is a little bit unfortunate I do have one beauty product that I bought from Loxiten which I'm gonna show you in a sec. Now, one thing that was surprising is the Ralph Lauren store, I think it was, and my mom was just bringing me dresses to try on, and I was really enjoying them, but just none of them was a 10, so I didn't buy anything, but this is definitely a store that I wanna check out in the future. I also found waterproof Timberlands, but they didn't have my size in stock, so that's why I didn't get anything. But I think the next time we're gonna go is probably throughout the summer when we're in Italy anyways for vacation. So it's gonna be very, very close. Or maybe we're gonna even go sooner. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of over the shopping center because for such a long time, I just cannot 
find anything that I love. And you heard that my list wasn't really tiny, so it was really surprising. Also, I did find one colorful bag with silver hardware, but I just wasn't in love with the color. If I would find the bag that is a similar color to the jumper that I was wearing that day, I think I would get it. But this one was just a little bit too pinky and a little bit less corally. Also, I didn't find any black tote bags. So when we came home, I actually ordered the Pauline Sai Mini and also the Sai Regular because I'm not sure which size to get. So I decided I'm just gonna order both and then I'm gonna decide once I see them in person because I really want to get a pen and I think this is gonna be the best, but I actually had to pre-order them because they're not in stock at the moment. So the date when they're sending out the bags is actually 29th of February. So even though I bought them <laughs> yesterday, I'm gonna have to wait for a while for them to get here, but that's fine because I'm still very excited. And today what's on the agenda is I'm gonna film another video and it's gonna be about makeup decluttering, my minimalist makeup collection and declutter because I really need to do that. Lately, I just changed up my makeup routine so much. I really, really stopped wearing foundation. So I wanna declutter a few products that I know I'm no longer using. I'm so excited. I'm always looking forward to the minimalist collection and declutter videos. They're really, really fun for me to film. So that's what I'm getting ready for. So this is my hair done. I just quickly straightened everything. And now I can show you the only product that I bought from the outlet store because I'm actually really excited about it, even though it's just a beauty product. And I have it right here and it's this huge lotion from L'Occitane. It's a cherry blossom shimmering lotion. I actually got just a little travel thingy from L'Occitane a while back. I think I took it with me in the summer previous year and I really really enjoyed it. So when I saw this and it was so so discounted I said I'm gonna take it. This is a 500 ml little lotion. For now I'm gonna put it in storage but in the summer I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna have it on my chest of drawer all of the time. So whenever I want to apply, I can have it. If nothing else, this is amazing, but I did resist and I didn't buy any hand creams this time around, which is a new thing for me, but I really have to use up my storage. So this is the only thing that I got. And now for the outfit of the day, I'm wearing a black turtleneck, which is one of my most worn pieces in my capsule wardrobe. I love it, it's so comfy and warm. Then for my jewelry, I have the silver watch. I have dual earrings that I mixed and match with the pearl and the silver. And then I also have two little bracelets that I layer together. But then for my bottoms, I have my white skinny jeans, uh, not skinny, straight jeans, which I've been wearing so, so, so much more lately. I love wearing them with white sneakers. And this is how my inner layer looks. Because it's a little bit colder today, I'm wearing my winter long black puffer coat that is so, so cozy. I also have my white check scarf with red details and surprisingly a red handbag. And I love this jacket because I think it protects my white jeans. That's why I've been wearing them a lot more. I feel so much more protected from the dirt. So if I go further back, you can see, again, a very simple look, but I just feel it's so stylish. I keep saying that. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> For today, what I was thinking to do is to show you my updated minimalist coat collection. So these are all of my main capsule wardrobe coats, but then I'm also gonna show you my sport capsule wardrobe. So you can see everything at one spot. If you watch all of my other videos, you probably know how many coats I have, but I still feel if you see them on the same spot, it's just a little bit easier. Now the first coat that I have is the black Burberry trench coat that I bought in an outlet store. And this one I love in the fall and in the spring when it's not really that cold, but you still want an extra layer. You, maybe it's raining, maybe, you know, you're just a little bit chilly. And I love this one so much. All of the details are completely black, which is something that I really wanted because it makes it a lot more versatile and elegant. I used to also own just a normal beige trench coat with black buttons, but that one wasn't really a part of my style. It was a little bit too casual. So this is the only trench that I own. And if I go further back, maybe I can go on the sofa. Can you see me? Trench coat in action. And now to the second coat, which is this ivory wool coat, 100% wool coat that is just amazing, amazing, amazing. I wanted to get this one for such a long time and now that I have it, it was one of the best 
purchases I ever made, especially because I can wear it in the spring, in the fall, and also in the winter if I layer it properly. And it's just such a gorgeous little coat. The quality is absolutely amazing. And I love that it doesn't have any noticeable hardware. So it's very, very easy to style. It also has a nice little belt. It's perfect. You just want to tie it like this. I mean, I love this coat so, so much. And it really changed how I do my outfits because before I had everything pretty much black. As you can see, without this coat, everything is black. So this one really changed the game for me. I love it so much. But now as before, let me go further back on the sofa. <laughs> So you can see it, this is how everything is closed. But then I also love to wear it open. I mean, it's such an amazing coat. I love it. And now to the black version. Again, this one is a 100% wool coat from X & Co. And this one is the first wool coat that I bought because I wasn't sure if they're worth the money and oh my God, they are. <laughs> because this one, I think it's my most worn coat if I'm not mistaken, when I was tracking my capsule wardrobe because it's just such a versatile piece. I can wear it in the spring, in the fall and also in the winter. And because it's not ivory like this one, because this one, I'm careful when I wear it. So it's not snowing, so it's not muddy outside. So this one, I just have to be a little bit more careful with it. But this one, I don't really have to care because it's completely black. It also has these really nice pockets. Again, it has a belt, but also, this one has two black buttons so again no noticeable hardware again let me go further back so this is how it looks closed and then i love wearing this one open as well i just tie my belt at the back for that cinch kind of waist so this is how it looks super fun and it's also super super long which i love also in terms of the warmth i think we can give this number <laughs> so it's a little bit easier to understand so this one it's, I would say, warmth number one, so it's very, very lightweight. And then these two are warmth number three, I would say from one to five. That's how I would rate them. And then this one, it's warmth number four. <laughs> this one is actually not made out of natural materials. It's a faux fur coat, but I'm not sure why, maybe because there is so much material in here. <laughs> it's really, really warm, and this one, I mean, I could technically still wear it in the fall and in the spring, but it's more of a winter coat for me because it's really, really warm. It's warmer than my wool coats. And this one is a black faux fur coat that it's just so, so cozy. I feel like I'm wearing a blanket with this one. Also, it has this little clip buttons. I'm not sure what they are, but again, there is no noticeable hardware, which you will see that's what I love to have a really classic piece that doesn't have any trendy details because I can wear these coats for a really really long time it also closes really really nicely I can show you so you have that extra support when it's really really cold and then if I go further back we have Bali here Bali is gonna help me show everything he's not sure what's going on but this is the coat when it's closed but again I love wearing it open as well I love wearing this one with white sneakers because it's just a nice little balance between really polished and over the top and then casual and sporty. And now the last coat is warmth number five, which this is perfect to wear even when it's minus 10 outside Celsius, even minus 15, it would still work. And I'm just over the moon with this coat. It's one of the best purchases I ever made. <laughs> it's really expensive, but so, so, so worth it. And it's really long, it's really lightweight, but at the same time, it's really, really warm. It has an amazing hood. It has this faux fur thing, and also it has an elastic, so I can really, secure the hoodie <laughs> it doesn't fall anywhere and this jacket also has another faux fur layer here at the collar but i personally removed it because i felt it was a little bit too bulky when i was driving i had so much stuff at the back so this is how i wear it most of the time but if i want to be a little bit more dressed up and it's not raining i can easily take the hoodie off put on the faux fur collar and i'm just gonna look so much more polished but i love this one because it's not too sporty i can still dress it up it looks amazing with all of my bags and scarves and I just find it so, so elegant. And like I said, it's super long, which you will see. So if I zip it, this is how it looks. It's so, so nice. 
I love this one so much. I'm now convincing my husband <laughs> because he doesn't have any long winter puffer coats. I'm saying to him, buy something. You will see your life is gonna be changed. And he's like, oh my God, Kim, stop talking about your coat. <laughs> but I just, I honestly love this one so much. And because it's so warm, obviously I only wear it in the proper winter when it's really, 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 really cold. <laughs> So these are the five coats for my main capsule wardrobe and as you know on my wishlist I wanted to get a lighter version of this coat and this is something that actually arrived today and I want to show you and share my thoughts. So here is an ivory puffer coat. It's white. It's not as long as that one but it's you know I still feel it's kind of a long puffer coat and I saw it in store actually but they didn't have anything in my size so then I went online and I ordered it and I just I wanted to show you how it looks on and also my thoughts behind if I even need a coat like this as you can see the color is really really nice it also has a nice little hoodie but I honestly feel this one is too too sporty and then I was also thinking now that I got this little coat I was thinking do I even need two coats that are really really warm for when it's snowing and it's just minus 10 and the answer is no <laughs> because honestly to have two coats that i can only wear when it's really really a minus outside that's not really the best use of my money so this one is not a 10 anyways <laughs> but at the same time i'm happy that i even tried it because it really got me thinking if i even need one so I'm gonna actually update my wish list and I'm gonna remove the white puffer coat completely because it's just not gonna make a huge difference in my capsule wardrobe. But then at the same time, I feel there is too much blackness going on here. So what I was thinking is that to get something that it's warmth number five, that I would look into getting something that it's warmth number four because this one I can also wear in the maybe early spring and the end of the fall. I was thinking a camel petticoat that could look amazing that's what i'm gonna add to my wish list that's how i usually shop <laughs> i have an idea i put it on my list i try it out and then i see no it's not working and i change my mind so i'm gonna add a beige or camo teddy coat on my wish list and for now i'm gonna keep it low priority maybe i'm gonna scooch it up a little bit later on because i think i still want to have a little bit more color in my collection because just having one ivory coat it's not really enough for me. I want to have just a little bit more variety. Also, the reason that I ordered the coats right now at the end of winter is because they are heavily discounted. This one is actually 50% off. It's from Calvin Klein. And I think it's a really good deal when you're buying at the end of season because you're getting so much bang for your buck. <laughs> And now here are all of my sporty jackets and coats. You can probably tell this one is the same from my main capsule wardrobe, but I personally love to use it for both, for sporty and casual, but then also when I wanna dress it up. It's perfect for both. It's kind of a hybrid. <laughs> but the other two options that I have, this one is actually the newest edition and it's a little sporty vest and it's perfect because usually when I go on a walk <laughs> I'm wearing my leggings and my t-shirt or something and I don't have any pockets so this one has nice little pockets I can bring stuff with me it also gives me just a little bit of extra warmth and I think it looks so so nice again it doesn't have noticeable hardware which it's kind of a thing with me it also has a nice little hoodie if it's maybe drizzling a little bit. <laughs> now it's true I haven't worn it yet because I bought it at the end of fall, I think it was. When I bought it, it was too cold to wear it, but now I think in March and April, I'm gonna start wearing this one and I'm so excited because it's a really, really nice little vest. And then I also have this pink little jacket that it's again, perfect for casual and sporty. I wanted to get something in a color because most of my sport capsule wardrobe is black <laughs> so i knew that baby pink is gonna look so amazing next to the black this one also has a nice little hoodie i love the color so much and this one i've been wearing loads when i'm running errands going on a walk if i just want to throw it on quickly it's perfect for that and i love it so these are my three coats if we go for the warmth this one is probably zero <laughs> I mean, it gives me a little bit of warmth, but not really. This one is probably a three and this one is a five. So this is my coat collection done. But now I also want to share two, no, three things 
six things <laughs> that I added to my capsule wardrobes, some of my new purchases. So here are all of my Leo updates. First, a really small update are the socks, which I've been looking for. And my mom actually gave this to me. These are ivory. I already worn them and the height is perfectly amazing for what I want them to do. But then she also got me two pairs. They are white, again, a little bit higher. So my ankles are not showing in the winter weather. And I'm so happy that I have my socks now for winter because I've been wearing my white sneakers so, so much. And these are gonna be so, so useful. Then I also have a really fun update. And I actually got new pairs of sunglasses, but with a prescription because I am nearsighted. What I was using so far, and I'm actually embarrassed to show you, but I want you to see. <laughs> what I've been using in the summer is actually a clip-on. So this is something that I put on my prescription glasses. And I mean, this didn't look good at all. <laughs> I can show you. This is how they look on. I mean, it could be worse, <laughs> but I just feel they don't really flatter me. And I also, I can see from the inside, I can see this section and it's really, really annoying. So I ordered myself a new pair and I got for the cheapest version in the store <laughs> because I didn't want to spend too much money. Sunglasses with prescription can get really, really expensive and I didn't want to, you know, just spend too much money if it's not necessary. So I picked the best out of the small selection that I had. And even though they're not maybe perfect, I can see so, so nicely out of them. And they're so much better than this pair, it's crazy. Also, the lenses are so much better quality and I'm so, so excited for the summer because these are gonna be perfect when I'm driving, when I'm, you know, at the pool, at the sea. <laughs> so you can know that I have two pairs of sunnies. One is normal and one is with prescription. And yeah, I'm so, so excited. This makes so much sense for my life. And this I'm actually just gonna throw away. These were four euros. I bought them online and they're just, they're not good quality. So these are going. And now I cannot wait for the summer to come here. <laughs> But then lastly, the most exciting update, I mean, it's not the most exciting, sunglasses are pretty fun, but are my new waterproof snow boots that I can also wear in the fall and in the spring. They are from Slovenian brand and you know, with all of the tags, you can see they're waterproof. They have the inner membrane, I think. I'm not sure how to say it, but it has a layer inside. So I'm protected from the snow or from heavy rain. And they're very, very comfortable. They were also discounted because like I said, if you're buying winter things at the end of winter, you're gonna get your discount. So these are so, so amazing. But one thing that I have to say is that the laces, the shoelaces are not the best because they make the shoes so much more casual and like a hiking boot and not the you know more elegant combat boot that i was going for so i was looking for the shoelaces already yesterday i went in so many stores but i couldn't find anything so of course i ordered different shoelaces from amazon and i'm gonna have to wait until they arrive but luckily for me because when i'm in the store i'm super super picky i also wore my ivory wool coat <laughs> when I was buying the shoes because I wanted to make sure that it's the vibe that I'm going for. So in the store, another pair of booties, they had shoelaces that were perfect for this boot and they allowed me to switch them to try different shoelaces on this boot and when I did that, it really changed my perspective on the boot. So this is not a completely finished product, but I can still show you how they look because at least you can get the vibe and how they look with maybe I can put my ivory coat on and you can see how they look. So first, just quick look of the outfit that I'm wearing today. I have the silver earrings. I have the silver diamond watch. I have my light off-white gray turtleneck and then I have my skinny jeans, medium more skinny jeans. And here are the booties. They're a little bit more chunky and Bali is of course gonna check them. He's quality control. Okay, I think he approves. <laughs> Do you approve? But as you can see, the laces are not looking the best, which is why I'm gonna change them. And believe me, they're gonna look so much better with different laces, but at least you can have an idea of how they look on. And now I can show you also how they look with an ivory coat. So this is the coat. I also added my Polinuf Mini because they're kind of similar shades. 
and then you can see the booties they just match the color so so nicely but again the shoelaces are so distracting I promise they are so much better but this is why I wanted to buy them yes I wanted something to wear in the snow and in the winter but also in the fall and in the spring because when I don't want to wear black in my outfit the only pairs of shoes that I was wearing right now are my white sneakers and I wanted to have another option so I can have more fun with my outfits also this look would be incredible with my white jeans I think it would look so so stunning also I can quickly show you the comparison to my old snow boots and tell you why I think these are so much better so these are my old snow booties I mean they are really nice they are black no noticeable hardware but I usually got snow inside because you know they are not that high and this pair is actually much higher as you can see which is not the most flattering because it covers the ankle but they're practical so I wanted to have something a little bit different because I have so many black boots as you can see I also have my black Ugg boots and I wanted to have a different color and this I'm actually gonna give to my mom I mean for right now I'm still gonna keep them but my mom doesn't have any snow boots these are probably gonna go to her once I test this one out, <laughs> I still want to give them a little bit of a test. And now I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a camera emoji if you've come to the end. And I will see you next time.